Shout out to Jerry Rig Everything for posting this. I'm not going to be playing his video in this video. I'm just going to be going through some snippets and kind of give my thoughts and opinions on things. I will leave the link down below in the description if you'd like to check out his video. I definitely recommend it. But today he did a durability test on the tri-foldable phone from Huawei. And starting off right away, for a first-gen product, a first generation of a foldable, tri-foldable phone, I gotta give Huawei a lot of credit. Because there's a lot of rumors of it breaking out the box, breaking right away, and just having durability issues in general. And yet, it actually survived his durability test very well for a first-gen product. Um, now, of course, Jerry Rig Everything's durability tests are insane, okay? He goes overboard. He puts phones in situations that they're never going to be. And reality-wise, I say the only thing you can really take away from his durability tests are going to be the scratch tests to see how the phone scratches and, you know, what happens when you do go ahead and hurt that inside display, which... On this phone is not only inside, it's also outside because it's a tri foldable phone. But number two is going to be the fold test when he bends the phone to see, you know, how much it can bend before it breaks. And ironically enough, Huawei actually thought about this. So when you bend this phone the wrong way, it's the only foldable, tri foldable phone on the market that actually gives you a sensor alarm that tells you you are bending it the incorrect way. Yes, it does snap within seconds. Uh, when you bend it the wrong way, it just really can't take that, which Again, you know, we kind of do expect that from most foldable cell phones, let's be honest. Um, surprisingly enough, you know, Samsung has done a really good job of making them survive. Same thing with Google here with their most recent iteration. But this actually does say fold your device um, like this, meaning don't fold it like this. So if you do fold it the wrong way, it does give you a little indication. Now, of course, is anyone ever going to fold it like this? No, not at all. Um, but like, let's say, for example, you leave it on a bed and you maybe have it underneath a blanket. You don't realize that and you have it fully open. Someone sits on the bed on the blanket. Maybe not you, maybe someone else, you know, right? And you they didn't realize it was open. It's going to bend and break within seconds. It will. And I feel like for a first gen product, you kind of expect that. You know, you go back to Samsung's first gen of the Z Fold devices. They bent and broke within seconds. Now, because they're hinged, they last no matter how you bend them. Same thing with Google, right? First Google device, poo, first Google Pixel Fold, boom, destroyed in seconds. Now, it's gotten better. And that's going to be like that for most, you know, first-gen products. It's just how it works. So, I will say again, like, give them credit where credit is due. Huawei did a good job with this. Um, he does use a fingernail test, which, again, is the same thing that happens on foldable cell phones now. Uh, where if you use a fingernail, you can actually indent the foldable cell phone screen, the inside screen. Um, any type of sharp object will also do that as well. He does show off here that it is four uh, millimeters thick, which is actually funny because it's uh, thinner than the actual charging cable that goes into the actual cell phone. But again, like I said, for a foldable cell phone, I think it did a pr or tri foldable cell phone, it did a pretty good job. Now, of course, because there is no dust resistance on this device or water resistance or really much anything, he does do the he drops some rocks on it and sands on it, and it does get right in the hinge and it never can fold back to normal shape ever again. Which, again, is a problem of not having, you know, having so many open areas, open gaps, that risking, you always risk a chance of breaking it. So, I think this gives us a good foundation on where to go for future tri-foldable phones. I know Samsung is going to be releasing one next year. And, you know, you'll see a lot, a bunch of other companies coming out. Honor is coming out with their tri-foldable cell phone. Samsung's going to do it. Obviously, I'm going to guess Honor or Huawei is probably going to create a second gen of their foldable cell phone. And it's just going to continue down the line. I think that, you know, they're very impressive. They are. Um... And even with, again, like I said, I, I think that this phone did a lot better than I expected. And a lot of people expected when it comes to a tri-foldable cell phone. 
but I think they're, they're definitely a couple years out, you know? And when you see the fact we have six generations of the Z Fold device or two generations of the Pixel Fold, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna be a little bit of time before this foldable phone, uh, tri-foldable phone future gets going. But tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one.